Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, January 4th, 2016. And this is a follow-up to my last video, Flat Earth Video Response to Chris Upton, Censored. And of course in this video, all the flatheads have been coming out of the woodwork and commenting under this video. And uh, we're seeing the same tired old comments from the flatheads, uh, demonstrating that they have no real understanding of how things work and uh, they have no understanding of science and how science works and uh, then we've got this comment by Raven2000KA2 and he says I think if somebody believes that oceans can stick to a spinning ball perhaps their stupidity is already beyond repair. Let's take a look at that spinning ball shall we? It's spinning away in space as it does spinning at 1,000 miles per hour at the equator or approximately 1,600 kilometers an hour we should all be flying off it right um hang on a minute there's a problem here now let's take a minute to think about this shall we okay okay I know you don't want to wait a minute time is precious so how about we wait two minutes instead? No? Okay, well, how about 1,440 minutes? Why 1,440 minutes? Well, that is how many minutes there are in 24 hours. And with this analog clock, we can clearly see, we can easily see the, the second hand racing around the face of the clock. But can you see the minute hand moving? Now that minute hand goes around this clock 1440 times in a 24 hour period. But can you see it moving? Well you can just see it moving and if I position my cursor here to make it easy you can probably see it moving very very slowly. But what about the hour hand? Can you see the hour hand moving? Now it's impossible to perceive and remember that with this analog clock the hour hand actually goes around 12 hours twice in a day. You've got 12 hours AM and you've got 12 hours PM because there are only 12 points on the face of the clock. It's not a 24 hour clock that takes 24 hours for the hour hand to go around once. It actually goes around twice in 24 hours. So here is a bit of a clue as to where we're going with this video, looking at the hour hand on this analog clock and how fast it moves in a 24-hour period. So let's go back to our spinning Earth, spinning around at 1,000 miles per hour, or 1,600 kilometers an hour at the equator. But hang on a minute, this is going much too fast, as you can see from the clock up in the corner there. Let's play this real time. So here is the Earth spinning in real time. And if you look at the clock up here, we can see that the time is running at real time, one second per second, as it should. I've got the time flow rate set at one time, or real time, and we can't perceive the rotation of the Earth. Now, this view here is set from the center of the sun. We're looking straight at the Earth in real time, and we cannot perceive any rotation. Yes, it is true that the Earth is spinning, at 1,000 miles per hour or approximately 1,600 kilometers per hour at the equator but obviously it's not spinning like a spinning top. Let's speed this up by 60 times and see how that looks. Now that is one minute per second. You can barely perceive that the earth is turning. If you look very carefully you can see that it's turning and that's at 60 times normal speed. Let's increase that to 600 times Okay, so now we can see that the Earth is spinning, and that is at 600 times normal speed. But it's hardly spinning like a spinning top, is it? Do you really think that at real time, that the oceans should be flying off the Earth, and that people should be flying off the Earth if it's a globe Earth, given that it takes 24 hours to make one rotation of the Earth? Remember, we looked at that hour hand, on the clock and that rotates around the face of the clock twice in a 24-hour period but the earth rotates once in a 24-hour period 
Can you see it turning? I can't. So why should we expect that the oceans would simply fly off the earth and that all the people would be flung off the earth because of the spinning force of the earth at 1,000 miles per hour at the equator? Yes, that's fast, but the earth in itself is not spinning like a top. Think about it, flatties. When you go outside, when you can drag yourself away from the computer and go outside and look at the night sky and you see the stars, do you see the stars racing across the sky? Do you see the, the moon racing across the sky? How long does it take for the sun or the moon or the stars to cross from one horizon to the other? Yes, it takes about 12 hours, doesn't it? If we speed this up like I did before at, say, 60 times, which is 1 minute per second, you can just see the stars are moving. If I speed that up to 600 times, which is 10 minutes per second, you can clearly see the stars going across the sky. But in real time, we can barely see the stars moving across the sky. And it is the same with the Earth, looking at the Earth from space, which is why the water doesn't go flying off and why the Earth is not spinning fast like a spinning top, as you would have us believe. So, Raven 2000 ka 2 if you think that the Earth is spinning like a spinning top, perhaps it is your stupidity that is already beyond repair. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.